Hello Wastelanders, Wanderer here. Welcome to Horizon version 1.9. It's finally here. The update we've been waiting for for uh, several years for Fallout 4 Horizon has finally dropped and uh, I'm super excited to play it. I just got done reading through about uh, literally two hours worth of patch notes uh, while I had some coffee, so I'm all set and ready to go. Uh, if you're new to Horizon, if you're wondering what Horizon is, should you play Horizon, etc., I'll be going over a lot of the inner workings of the mod and some of the changes in 1.9 while I'm playing through it. But to give it to you very, very succinctly, Horizon is a overhaul mod for Fallout 4 that touches nearly every aspect of survival mode to make it more immersive, more challenging, more rewarding, and just a lot better. So, with that out of the way, let's get started with a new game on survival. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing. It's that war. War never changes. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Okay, uh, character creation. Honestly, uh, I'm fine with default Nate as he is. I, I think, yeah, we're, we're good with this. Let's just go with default Nate. I don't really roleplay my characters super hard. Just letting Horizon and all that good stuff load up there. So as you can see, Horizon 1.9 has been loaded. And everything looks to be working okay so far, so that's good. I also have a mod installed to skip the beginning intro section because uh i've seen a million times you guys have seen a million times if this is your first time ever seeing or playing fallout 4 i'm gonna stop you right here and say just go buy the game just go buy it and play it like seriously it's worth it it's worth buying a console even if you if you don't have a gaming pc just just go play the game by itself 
because it's worth it. Um, for those of us that have played and just want to get into the actual gameplay and see what's changed in Horizon, well, we're going to be skipping that with a mod called Start Me Up. So we have a couple of options here. You notice that this isn't reality, it's a dream, or was it something from a memory? And you, so you can either say that you basically were not the sole survivor, you're not Nate or Nora. Uh, I'm going to say that uh, this is a memory, I don't want to relive this, because we it's too weird. Some of the dialogue choices, if you go with the um, this is a dream option, they don't, I mean, they work, but just barely. It's weird. It makes things weird. Um, especially the, the encounter with, like, Sean and stuff later on. It becomes very, very strange. <coughs> so, uh, we're waking up in the vault after getting into our quote-unquote decontamination pod. Yeah. Vault tech pulled one over on us. Turns out that was not a decontamination pod. That was a cryopod that put us to sleep for 200 years. Uh, we just awoke at some point during that 200 year sleep and saw our lovely wife, who is across from us here, brutally murdered when she refused to give up our infant son, Sean. So rest in peace, Nora. And for some reason in this, you cannot open up the uh, cryopod. I'm not sure why it is, but it doesn't seem to let you open this. Normally you can open it up and get her wedding ring but for whatever reason, uh, you can't do that here. Uh, also, we have since we skipped the intro section, we have to put in our stats and stuff. Now, I'm going to be putting in some basic stats. I'm just going to call myself Nate, I think. Good enough. I'm going to be putting in some basic stats here, um, just so that we can get the maximum amount out of the intro section. So it's going to be agility for stealth, intelligence for experience gain, and strength because we're going to be doing melee uh, and no ranged in the vault section here. We will be able to respec before we leave. For the last points, uh, probably just endurance, I guess, is fine. That should be fine. And then let's open the main door. Okay. So let's get going. There have been a lot of changes in 1.9. Uh, as I said, it's been uh, several years in the making. So I'm pretty excited to see all the new changes. I did spend about two hours before this doing quite a bit of reading. So, you know, I have some idea what awaits us. And I am just kind of speed running through this, I realize. But it's the vault, you know. How different can it really be? Didn't kill him, huh? Didn't get him. I probably should have done a VATS hit Giant. on that guy. Roaches? What the hell? Uh, you'll get used to it, Nate. It's fine. I noticed in the bottom left we have new icons that show us, um... I'm not sure what the little stealth boy or the little stealth icon is. I'm not sure what any of them really are, to be honest. They they look like various icons used for things. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Oh goodness, I didn't mean to sit down. That's that's not that's not a good time to be sitting down, Nate. Let's get back up and get going. Yeah. There you go. Good job. That takes so long. I can't use my light because it does not yet exist. We don't have a pit boy yet, so we have no light to speak of to use. It is kind of dark in here with my ENB, but that's okay. We'll have our light soon enough. It'll be fine. I'm gonna pop into the recreation terminal here, get that red mass holotape. That thing is worth quite a few caps, and we're gonna need every cap that we can get our dirty wastelander hands on because um, we're playing on desolation mode. Also, this is going to be a permadeath run. This is the first time I've done a permadeath run in Horizon, so that'll be something new. Huh, a talking teddy bear. This must be new. I don't believe there was ever a talking teddy bear with a glowing red eye on it over there. Is that like a... Oh, I can't check my pit boy to look at it. I want to see if it's like a junk item or what that comes up as. I wonder if those are added by Horizon. It has to be, right? Oh, there's one under here, too. There's a cowboy teddy bear under here. 
in a candle, several candles, and a vault tech lunchbox. Huh, that one did not pop open either, like they normally pop open, and, uh, yeah. Chessboard here that I cannot interact with, okay. Any other things hiding under here? Did I miss these in previous playthroughs? I, I surely not. Surely I have not missed these in previous playthroughs. They had to be there and I just... Or, I mean, uh, they, they had to not be there and they're just now here with the new version of Horizon. Maybe? I don't know. I wonder if the mod author of Horizon, who is uh, Zawa Newell, or just Zaw, uh, as is short um, for his name, I wonder if he's just put them there to see who is paying attention. Notice I cannot pick up that lid anymore. I can interact with it, but I cannot pick it up. That's part of the new junk overhaul. Oh, and for... There's a new button now for animal enemies. Looks like I can harvest this guy. Mm, yeah, just, just chop him on up. There we go. So we got some diseased meat and grisly meat. Hmm. My favorite. Okay. So that's the new, um, kind of like a skinning or harvesting mechanic. Hello there, Radroach. Did you not get hit at all, huh? There you go. There, yeah. Yep. So that's going to be a pain because we don't really want to... Ow! Yeah, Jesus Christ. Well, that's exactly what I didn't want to have happen. Well, I didn't want to get zapped while I was trying to harvest him. That's going to cause problems. I'm just saying... It's gonna cause problems. We're gonna be trying... Hello, Radroach. I wanna try to do as much VATS-based uh, melee here as I can. Um, because I would like to... Should I harvest these guys or wait until later? I could wait until later to get more meat off of them, I suppose. Maybe I'll leave them for now. I've never done that before. I've never gone that... Hardcore min maxing. This clipboard is also not lootable. I think clipboards and some other items like glass items and uh, several other types of items are no longer. Come on over. Come on over. Eh, there's nothing to be as scared of here. Oh, you're a big boy, huh? But yes, as I was saying, several other item types have been... Well, they're no longer... Oh, we have new items here, too. This is not normally what you see here. Uh, they're, um... They're no longer god brain work with me here. I'm trying to remember what I was saying. Take the things. Um... I totally forgot what I was saying. Anyway, let's get this vault door open. Sorry, guys. I saw new things. Locksmith tools. That's new, too. Okay. And this door is now shut. Normally, it's it's not shut. Okay, let's open the evacuation tunnel. There have been many, many overhauls to a lot of things. There have been a lot of changes in the newest version. A lot of rebalances. A lot of, Like, everything pretty much makes sense. It all... If you've played Horizon before, all the changes should make very good sense to you. And I know I'm kind of speedrunning through this, but... Horizon is a very, um... Is this open? I can bash it open. But that requires, what, the locksmith tools? I don't want to use them on this if I don't have to. I still can't look into my inventory. I don't have a Pip-Boy yet, which is unfortunate. Hey, we get a bobby pin for free over here, so I'll just stick with that. Anything in here? I guess I've never looked in that box before. Okay, we'll get some luck picking skill and a bit of free experience here and uh, not use up our locksmith tools. Let me get some ammo here and some handcuffs and don't get our gun just yet. That comes a bit later, I believe. Pip-Boy Software Upgrade, VA. Uh, I think that's a, like a voice assistant. Voice assist. Hmm. So we have the option to open this cryolator case 
with our locksmith tools. So that does that work? It sure did. We we destroyed our locksmith tools, but we Excellent. got a cryolator out of the deal. Okay. That's kind of awesome. You could never get that before, and I always forgot to come back down here and get it later on, so that's pretty cool. I can't open it up to see, to actually use it, but uh, it's pretty neat. We have the cryolator right away. Um, it didn't seem like it was really that overpowered or anything. It was only four damage per shot, but you can upgrade it with a crystallizing barrel, which makes it more like a ranged weapon, and then it's actually pretty decent. So, yeah, I'll be doing that later on. Not sure what kind of science skill it's going to require, but it will require some. You have to go far enough up here to trigger these guys into popping off the wall, and then they should... I should be able to get him to caution. Oh, there we go. Caution. The goal here is to get him to run around the corner. And do that. Very good. I hear the pitter-patter of little radroach feet. Hit him again, Nate. Hit him again. Good job. Okay, now we're hidden. That's fine. So I'm not looting these guys, or I'm not... I've Rather, I'm not harvesting them, which is the new way to loot animals, is to harvest them, because we will get a Vault Tech training manual pretty early on, and I like to put that first point into the hunting skill, which allows you to get more meat out of animals that you skin. And I believe that if I take that, I'll be able to come back in here, harvest these later, and I'll get more materials out of them at that point, which seems like a better deal to me. Right this way. Hello, sir. Over here. Would any of you like to come over? There we go. Make a little bit of noise. This way. Yep, yep, yep. Over here. Just one at a time, please. That's good. And one more would be just fine. You're a big boy. Come on, hit him. Hit him again. Hit him again. Oh, gosh. We have a uh, glowing one. Is that all? There's got to be more around the corner, right? Yeah, there's another one over here. There's actually two more. No, just one more here. Would you like to come over? It's right over this way. You sure you don't want to come over and uh, have dinner? You're the main course. What about over here? Are there more here? No, I think we're done. That's it. Okay, so yeah, we're going to save those. For harvesting later. If you're curious on my mod list, by the way, that will be in the description of the video. It has not changed really, with the exception of Horizon 1.9 and the Horizon weather. My gosh, you took a lot to kill. That was a big one. Okay. It hasn't changed very much, with the exception of the Horizon Weather add-on, um, the Horizon... Uh, what's the other one? The Weather add-on, the Texture add-on, so Zawanul has been trying his hand at some textures, and he's done a really good job, too, from what I've seen. And he's tried to focus on uh, textures that were not covered well by other mod authors, which is really nice, because if you, if you retexture like the entire game and it looks really, really good, that's really nice. The problem is that uh, you end up kind of being stuck with some textures that just aren't very good. Um, and they stick out like a sore thumb because, you know, they look terrible. But, uh, yeah, we got a cryo later and we have 200 cryo cells. Now, I'm pretty sure I can scrap these for like one energy cell each, which that's going to be, you know, a good amount of fusion cores, like maybe 20 or 40 fusion cores. So yeah, I don't know if I'll be using this thing, but I'll certainly be scrapping the ammo to make more fusion cells. The um, One of my long-standing complaints about the laser musket 
has been addressed, which is that it doesn't come with a reflex sight. And the sight on the, the laser musket, the iron sight, is just... It's really the worst. It is really the worst uh, sight ever known to man. Um, it, because it shoots, like, way too high, I think, or maybe it's way too low. I, I can never remember. Another combat impact. So we get two of those right away. That's really... Um, a lot better than it was before. So we get two of those. I'm sure we won't find very many of them out in the world, so... It's fine that we get a couple right away. But, um... It's kind of nice. You start off with a bit better stuff. Still have not picked up a proper gun yet. A regular gun. I just have that cry later. Ah, but there it is. There's our, our pistol. Okay, Revival Mode is an alternative style of playing Horizon. Instead of dying and reloading your save game, you may be knocked unconscious. Settlers will find you and drag you back to the nearest settlement to recover. Companions also have a limited way to revive you right in the field. Really? Requires revival kits. That's new, so I didn't know about that. Um, companions being able to revive you in the field is actually amazing, because you can revive your companions, right? But they could never revive you. So it only makes sense, right, that uh, they could revive you using a revival kit. That's pretty awesome, actually, because nothing worse than uh, being out in the field and you're doing stuff and you're having a grand old adventure and then you get ambushed by somebody and they take you out and now, now you're sent back to your nearest settlement and you're stuck there. So your companions can now revive you and that will not happen. This adds an immersive challenge in that you can't replay the same scenario over again with all your supplies back. You're forced to pay the consequences and continue forward. Yeah, let's go ahead and keep the revival mode, I like that. Important tips on combat, weapon range, and type of ammo matter. That is correct, weapon range is a big deal. Being out of range can be up to 50% reduced damage. Keep your weapons upgraded. Low calibers work well on unarmored targets. Higher calibers work better on armored targets. Most enemies have a weak point, as in the headshot for humans. Some creatures take extra fire or explosive damage. Use melee on weaker enemies to conserve ammo. Save specialty ammo for difficult enemies, uh, as in the armor-piercing incendiary rounds. And here are some tips on healing. Always use bandages to heal outside of combat. I believe bandages refers to those first aid supplies that that, that kind of replaces bandages now. And so it's now it's now it's just you use as many first aid supplies as you actually need to use to heal yourself up, and it's automatic. It your, it figures out automatically how many your character needs. Uh, be rested before you heal, this increases the healing done, and save combat impacts for emergencies. Okay, we'll keep the help pop-ups on for now. There's our first weapon, let's get these bound to one and two. And let's equip some stuff here. We got a green, a new one, or a blue one. an awfully garish blue. I like the green better. The green is certainly an improvement, um, though I'd prefer, like, black, to be honest, or, like, a gray or something. I believe those... Oh, this is actually not bad. Actually, this is not bad, because this is this blue is almost a gray. It's a very muted blue. It's a very, you know... Okay, I kind of like this one. We'll stick with that. And then we had a shorter bag, too, right? That gives us carry weight. So let's do that, too, and that should be... Just fine for now. Okay, before we step in here, I'm going to get a save in. Oh yeah, I have to bind my save button right. Quick save. So although it's survival mode, and normally in survival mode you cannot quick save, it doesn't really matter uh, because we have to live with our mistakes anyway, so we don't want to have to go back in time after a crash, and I never want you guys to have to re-experience something I've already done. You're with me for this journey, and we're in it. Whether or not we lose supplies, you're much more likely to um, die in Horizon because you run out of supplies than you are to just, like, die randomly from, like, a random errant bullet. It's much more about managing your resources than it is about uh, just, you know, not falling over randomly. Looking at the textures here and stuff. Ah, it looks so nice. Everything looks so good. So, uh, before we proceed, though, let's take a look at the perk chart because this is where we're going to respec our character before we head out into the wasteland, and I want to see what we have available here for us on uh, respec and think about what I want to do as, as far as my character goes um so I will probably want to go with I'd say a minimum of four strength and that's going to be for blacksmithing um the commando perk has gotten I mean it's kind of kind of gotten neutered if I'm going to be honest here it's just not that great anymore 
Uh, the Master Commando proficiency, I think, is removed, and uh, this is basically just you gain weapon proficiency faster, which is nice, don't get me wrong, it's nice, but... And the sticky bombs might be really good, I'm not really sure, but I'll have to look at what those require to craft and how much damage they do and uh, that kind of stuff in the workshop because I'm not sure if, it's, if this is worth it at all anymore. Uh, carry weight won't be an issue later on. Steady aim is also really underwhelming. What is worth it is going to be getting to 7 perception for technologist, even though I don't really want to use vats a whole bunch in this playthrough. Uh, using or having technologists is going to be essential. So, one of the struggles in Horizon is getting enough nuclear material, and one of the best ways to get nuclear material is by salvaging cars. That's right, you can salvage cars out in the open world. However, to do so, you require 120 salvaging skill. Now, in Horizon, we have skills. We don't just take perks, we also have skills that we gain passively over time whenever we do things, like salvaging equipment in the field and junk and stuff like that. And you also get them, you get static bonuses whenever you level up and invest into perks that have the uh, skill uh, on them. So, for example, here, we're going to get 20 salvaging skill. So, I think we want to go with technologist because we can get um, 60 from here, and then we'll need to get, as well, 60 from here. That'll be 120 guaranteed, even if we don't get any from scrapping stuff in the field, which we will. But potentially, if we could get an extra 40 from just salvaging stuff in the field, we could even get enough by level 5 to be scrapping cars, which would be amazing. It took far longer than that before in the previous versions of Horizon. So, intelligence, uh, probably gonna pump that pretty high. If I go with the power armor build, which I think I am gonna do with a power armor build this time around, uh, we'll wanna go with a minimum, I think, of 9 intelligence so that we have nuclear physicists, so that our fusion cores last longer. This has also been buffed slightly in that it only has two ranks, and it still gives the 40% longer bonus, so it's pretty good. Um, this requires level 5 for the first rank, though, which is kind of rough, so we can't take it until a little bit later on. So, so far we've got, uh, I think, four? Yeah, four strength just for blacksmithing, so that we can have access to metalworking, which allows us to upgrade our power armor, which I will probably be doing, and then Perception of 7 for Technologist. The other ones in Perception are decent, but they have been nerfed a bit. Um, before, Stealth was kind of the de facto way to play Horizon. It was just extremely overpowered, but Stealth has been nerfed quite a bit, and it's been especially nerfed when you're using power armor. So, I don't think I'll be investing too heavily in Stealth or Sniper-based play, as far as uh, this goes. So, Deadeye used to give you, I think, 30% and 60% sneak attack damage bonus. Now it's only 10 and 20%. So, I think it's warranted. Um, I think it's fine. But, um, yeah, it's, it's a lot less attractive as an option, which is the point. As far as endurance goes, probably gonna go with, um, I would say two, maybe three. I don't know, maybe three. Life Giver is pretty good. Uh, 120 health. We have currently 250, so 120 extra health. That's a significant bonus, right? If you go from 250 up to pl like plus 120, that's like a 50% increase in your health. That's pretty damn well. Actually, take it back. We're gonna have even. We're gonna have way less than this because right now. Well, no, never mind. Never mind. We do. We do have three endurance right now. So yeah. It's a 50% increase in your overall health, and for a permadeath run, having 50% more health sounds like a pretty good deal. Uh, especially because endurance does not add that much by its own, I don't think. In fact, I think it's 10 per level of endurance, so... I'll think about taking 3 if I can, but for sure we want 4... 4 strength, 7 perception, at least 2 on endurance for the survivalist and hunter perks, which are pretty much kind of... You, you just you need those. You kind of have to have them. Charisma, I don't think is really all that necessary. Certainly not in Horizon, because you can do uh, work... You can do supply lines between your workshops without having to have local leader. Local leader is still very attractive as an option, though, because it gives you access to workshop upgrades in Horizon, which we will get into later on. But... I think that for my character, we won't have the points, so we'll probably stick with one Charisma. 
So we're going high on intelligence, probably at least uh, nine. Yeah, we'll go with nine intelligence, maybe ten if we have extra points, just for the extra, you know. Because why not? It's it's more experience gained. Agility, there's nothing really attractive here for a, a non-sneaky character, except for maybe future, well, future soldier is uh, two agility. So, yeah, we'll probably go with energy weapons, at least later on. Maybe not right away, because we won't have access to them, but... Um, yeah, we're going to be going to energy weapons late game for sure, or even like mid game probably. So at least two agility, maybe three, because I might still use some sneaking at least in the early game. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, as far as luck goes, the main attraction for luck is going to be the perks that give you better crit chance. So this has crit hit damage. This is crit chance. This is plus 6% crit chance, more crit damage. That's just AP restore. This, I I thought maybe this used to give you some crit chance, but it looks like it does not anymore. Maybe we got it from somewhere else, I don't remember. Oh no, you know what it is? You used to get it from the, was it the trooper perk? I guess trooper is now rifleman. Ballistic Rifles gain 30% range, 10% VATS hit chance. Ah, here it is. Ballistic Rifles now gain another 5% critical hit chance. I wish that this was the case for Future Soldier as well. Oh, it, it is. It is. Never mind. Um, so, But it's non-automatic, unscoped energy weapons. It's very specific. Non-automatic, uh, unscoped energy weapons now gain an extra 5% critical hit chance. So we get 5% here. Does not include gauze, incendiary, or explosives. But this does include those things. Or it includes uh, gauze weapons because they count as ballistic. Right. Um, sorry if I'm taking a long time with this, guys. But I, I get into this stuff. I'm, I'm here for the character building stuff and all the theory crafting stuff. Okay, so anyway. We can stack our crit pretty high. And this one, the last one in luck, is 5% uh, crit damage and 5% chance to just avoid damage altogether. So I feel like 10 luck is kind of mandatory. So we're going with 4 strength, 7 perception, 2 intelligence minimum, 1 charisma, 9... Or, sorry. 2 endurance minimum, 1 charisma, 9 intelligence, uh, 2 agility, maybe 3 if we can swing it, and then 10 luck. Okay. That's the build. That's what we're doing. Let's go ahead and change our special here. So, four on strength. A whopping seven perception. Uh, I'll leave this at three for now. We only need to have two on agility, and then we can go up to ten luck. Hmm. Hmm. So I could go with a bit more. I don't need to have three endurance right away. We're going to get a special point for free from the special book, and we'll just probably plug that into endurance, I think. But I'd rather have the intelligence maxed out um, for any early game possible experience gains that we might get. Enjoy your return to the surface, and thank you for choosing Vault Tech. Wanderer is min-maxing this way too hard. Yes. Yes, he is. I'm, I'm sorry. It's how I play. It's how I roll. I think about these things. Could I have possibly gotten 3% uh, more experience from that minor experience gain of when we exited the vault? Gosh, I should have gone with 9 Intelligence back then. Someone in the comments will comment on it. Yeah, that's, that's how I roll. Oh, calm down, Nate. Things will be all right. You'll be okay. I'm sure young Sean is fine. Although, uh, you know, for him, his wife just got blown away. I mean, that's... I'd be a sobbing mess. I think most of us would, to be honest. So that reaction... I mean, going down into a vault, and for him, it's been like five minutes. He comes back out. His wife has died. His child's been abducted. The world has totally... Like, could you imagine? It, it's... 
you couldn't possibly imagine a more traumatic series of events. The entire world, as you knew it, is gone and destroyed and replaced by this wasteland. I mean... Quite traumatic, yeah? Cannot pick up this ashtray. I believe all ceramic and glass has been kind of made into useless junk that you cannot pick up. Don't really need too much of for crafting either, supposedly. I guess we'll find out how true it is. Oh yeah, did, um... Did I get... We got a vault tech training manual on exiting the vault there, I think. Or maybe it was in our inventory to begin with, I'm not sure, but... Uh, this has moved to the start. We want to use this right away. Because we want to put this into Hunter to make sure that we get um, this perk right away so that anything that we skin can now be... Or anything that we harvest from animals has a better chance of giving us some meat. So... Uh, I think I'm gonna run back down to the vault for a second, guys, and go and loot all those rat roaches that I just, uh, left down there. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, and through the magic of video editing, we are back once again. I have good news and bad news. The good news is that I missed a couple of items on my first run through the vault. And I did find them the second time around. Don't blame me, it's because I didn't have a light when I was running through the areas, and they were rather dark. So we did find them, and that the main item uh, that really matters is some purified water, which is good. So a purified water is going to be... it's going to come in handy. But um, the bad news is that I could not... my big brain moved to wait to um, salvage the rad roaches. Uh, well, we can't. It's... Uh, yeah, they're gone. They just evaporated into thin air. I, you know, it's that uh, Bethesda curse, you know? Bodies just despawn for, like, no good reason sometimes in some areas. So it is what it is. We'll, uh, we'll march on, and uh, I'm sure we'll do just fine. We would have only gotten some random grisly meat anyway. I suppose if you're going to do that, then uh, make sure that you do it the first time around and um, not you know, try to do it later on after you've already loaded outside. Ah, well, here's Codsworth still. As I live and breathe! Oh, it's... it's really you! You, you don't live and breathe, though. You're a robot. I mean, I appreciate it's a, it's a saying, but... You're still here, huh? Codsworth? You're st still here. So... Other people could still be alive, too. Well, of course I'm still here. Surely you don't think a little radiation could deter the pride of General Atomics International? <laughs> but you seem the worst for wear. Best not let the wife see you in that state, hmm? Where is the missus, by the way? They killed her, Codsworth. Those bastards. They... They killed her. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? They stole him. He's gone. God Damn it. Someone took him. Someone stole my son. It's worse than I thought. Mm -hmm. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> I feel fine, though. Doesn't matter how long it's been. I feel fine. A bit over 210, actually, sir. Or oh, give or take a little. For the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack? <laughs> you must be famished. You, uh, you doing okay, buddy? Codsworth, you're acting... a little weird. What's wrong? I... I... 
Well, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets out nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing! And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house. <laughs> and the car, the car! How do you polish rust? Stay with me, buddy. Stay with me, pal. Focus. I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were... dead. I did find this hollow tape. I, I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. Well... I guess thanks, Codsworth. Thank you, Codsworth. You're, you're welcome. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? The Mrs. and young Sean may turn up yet. Uh, I mean, sure, why not? All right. Lead the way. Proud to serve, sir. I mean... At least we have our our own robot here to uh, help us out with any nasties like that. How how do you go through that? You can't even. That was dumb. Ugh. Took way more damage there than I wanted to. nearby, and, well, the people there have only shot at me a few times. Thanks for your help, Cosworth. Good luck, sir. You'll find young Sean. I know you will. I shall remain here and secure the home front. Okay, so, uh, I did turn off... Well... I tried to turn it off. Hold on. So, global options and under, or is it here? Utility and, and salvaging options. Yeah, I turned off. Yeah, the animation, I turned them off. Maybe I have to reload before it goes into effect. But I was hoping to turn that off, even though, like, I know this took a lot of work from Zalano, and I know it's, like, immersive and everything, and, like, I, like, look... I understand some people will like it, and I understand I'm probably in the minority of people that are not going to like it, but, um, standing here and waiting for the harvest animation to go through for every single time you want to harvest an animal, that sounds like a lot of extra waiting around to me when I could be, like, doing stuff playing the game. I don't know. That's Personally, it. ooh, 10 fusion cells. Personally, um, I'm not really to about that but you know i understand why people would like it and i appreciate that it's there okay so i i feel bad 
for not liking it because I know that Zawano put in a lot of work. Hey, a mining helmet. Very nice. That's a really good find. That's so good. I'm going to save just in case we like crash or something. I don't think it has armor anymore on it, but it does not. But it is a functional... Uh, well, is it a directional light? I'm not sure. I, I can't tell. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's been nerfed and it's no longer a... Well, no, it seems like it. I don't know. We have to wait till it's dark to actually see. The Pip-Boy light is not very good, though, and that's uh, something I'm not I'm not really very keen on that. Um, okay, we also should be able to go ahead and use this. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set down... Actually, no. First, I'm going to kill some bug. Well, I'm going to harvest some bugs. Let's go harvest our kills real quick to make sure we get the meat and I don't forget about it. And they don't despawn, since that seems to be a thing now. That one's good. Need to get this one still. Uh, he got nothing on that. Okay. Oh, it's auto loot. It automatically loots. I guess it is kind of nice to be able to see what you get. So does it just go into your inventory then, I guess? Yeah, we've gotten some exotic meat. I guess it is kind of nice to see what you're getting, which I turned off in the options here. What was the default setting? Crap, I want the default setting. Is there a default button? There is not that I see anyway. Uh, hopefully it's it's working. I, I don't like... I, 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 I thought, oh, auto-loot sounds like a good option, and I was immediately like, oh, you know what, I, I don't know what we're actually getting from these whenever we auto-loot them, so... There's no meshes that pops up or anything, so I, I actually don't like that. Um, well, uh, it is what it is, guys. We've made our choice. I could turn it off completely, I guess, which I might do in the future. Uh, where did those other bugs go? There's one. I knew there was one around here. Yeah, so it gave me a whole bunch of stuff there. It said I have harvested a whole bunch of things, but... The other one did not say what I harvested, or that I harvested anything at all. It didn't give me a message like that, which... Yes, yeah, so this told me how... Okay, this is, this is better. This tells me what I got some stuff. Cool, we harvested the things. We got some stuff. Hunting is now 21, so you get hunting skill from harvesting animals. Salvaging skill is from salvaging... These are both done. Wasn't there one more around here? Well, that was the third one. I guess that's all. I think I missed one somewhere. Okay, anyway. Let's go over here. And kill these other rad roaches and stuff that are around to get their... Get their meat. And uh, maybe we can make ourselves a bug kebab. Literally a bug kebab. It's possible. That's a glowing one. That's going to be kind of rough. My god. That was... That could have taken my head off. Die already. My god. They attack so fast. It's kind of ridiculous. Where the hell did he go? Hello? There was a second one around here. Oh god, I've clicked off of the game. That's not good. I'm gonna actually stop recording and restart because I'm afraid this is gonna mess up the recording now. Okay, I'll have to I'll have to change that or something because that's gonna that's gonna be a problem. It's gonna be problem. Hello, I hear you now. There we go. Yes, squeeze him. Very good. I think I was out of range to harvest him there for a second. Okay, and we got some stuff. But yeah, I'm just saying, we have, we have to harvest robots too, which is going to be a real chore too, because think about all the synths we're going to have to harvest. You know? It's going to be a lot, that's all I'm saying. Oh yeah, and we're going to go and get the special book over here. And this as well. Oh, this increases my metalworking skill. Cool. Go. So this plus 10 to metalworking. That's kind of nice, actually. 
That's a very nice texture. What if that, is that a new texture? Got to be a new one, right? Because I don't remember that texture before. It looks very vibrant and pretty. It doesn't look base game-ish to me. Right, so endurance or intelligence. Oh, we're actually maxed out on intelligence. Right, we're going to do endurance. That's right. We're going to go with some more max health. Since this is a permadeath run, I feel like it's... Uh, Best to go with that health boost increase. Nothing crazy over here, yeah? Uh, okay, that's, yeah, nothing here. That's Sean's room. Okay, so let's kill the last couple of enemies over here. Should be a couple of roaches around here. I think two over here and then two on the opposite side. Already got these. Yeah, okay, so a couple. There's one hiding in the bush here. Okay, easy enough. Let's get him harvested. I'm really worried. Yeah, see, I wasn't close enough before the... Like, I was close enough to be in range of doing it, but it, it I wasn't actually close enough for the animation to start, so I had to, like, move forward a little tiny bit. Like, if I'm all the way back here... See, it doesn't work. Oh, never mind. I guess it's just delayed a little bit. I guess, never mind. It's just a, it's a time delay thing. That's all. It has to, like, invoke the script or something. Okay. Never mind me. Alright, well, um... I'm going to scrap stuff, guys. Yes, let's uh, go into vats here, or into um, workshop mode. So I'm going to put down a scrap cleanup station, which requires some wooden steel, which we just got. Cool. Put that down, and I'm going to... Oh, right, I should... Um... What does this say? Cleanup stations cannot reclaim build limit from scrapped objects. Ah, okay. So if you would like to increase your maximum build limit for the settlement, um, current is 3,000, increase to max 20,000. Yes. Uh, always increase when asked again. That's fine. And there are lots of options here, but I think we're going to scrap all. Before that, though, let's Get a save in, just in case. Scrap everything. We've already saved. Okay, so now I'm going to go through and um, scrap some things that are not going to get scrapped for whatever reason. Uh, that the scrap station does not handle for some reason. And I will see you in a bit once that is all done. Okay, guys, I think we're all done with the manual scrapping. Normally, I would just do a console command called scrap all that would just scrap everything for me here. Uh, that still does work, although um, I've been told not to do it numerous times by various people. So I've never had issues with it, but, you know, I trust other people more than my own judgment when it comes to modding in this game and stuff because I don't know that much about it. So... Anyway, we're done now, and uh, I'm going to probably build my traditional wanderer barn. If you've seen my Horizon videos before, you'll know what that entails, but I think we're going to save that for next episode. I know we just got started here, and we're, we're just barely sinking our teeth into the new version of Horizon, but unfortunately, uh, I'm already past an hour in the recording, and I'm trying to keep these under an hour each. So I think we're going to leave off for this episode here. And we'll start off the next one with a bit of building and then exploring the surrounding area. So thank you so much for watching, everyone, and I will see you next time.